All right, guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do a masked text effect, which basically is going to allow you to put text behind people and behind objects. And you've probably seen this effect on YouTube and Instagram before. It's actually really simple in DaVinci Resolve, especially if you have the studio version. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can do it for yourself. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, so let's get into this. So this is the effect that we're going to be doing. It's putting text behind a subject like this, and it's a lot simpler than you'd think. So first thing we need to do is make sure that we have our media in the timeline that we want to use. And ideally, you're going to want to have a clip where you have a clear subject and then a clear background. Um, this isn't even a perfect clip because there's a lot, as you can see, her clothes and stuff are moving around. But as you can see, DaVinci Resolve is so smart that it actually takes into consideration the clothes and stuff. So anyways, this might not work with every single clip. It's really going to depend, but it um, doesn't hurt to try, right? Okay, so now for this, we're going to have to do a few things, and we're going to be in the Fusion page. The first thing we want to do is, once our clip is on the timeline like this, we want to hold Option if you're on a Mac, and you're going to want to drag this clip up two tracks. Okay, so we're going to want to leave a track in the middle free. Okay, and then what we're going to do is go over here and we're going to add on a title. Now you can add on any title that you want. So in this case, I'm going to use this title and we're just going to drag it right below in between our clips and we're going to make a sandwich. Okay, and now you're going to notice nothing's happening. And that's because this clip up here is covering up everything below it. Okay, so in order to fix that, what we're going to have to do is we're going to mask this lady out. Okay, so now what we need to do is you want to make sure our top clip is selected, not the bottom one. You want to make sure this one here is selected. You want to right click, and then we're going to go up to open in Fusion page. Okay. And now what we're going to do is make sure our media in one is selected. We're going to hit shift space bar, and then I am going to type in magic mask. And then you can see this node is going to be added in right here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is select magic mask. I'm going to press two on the keyboard. Okay. I'm going to go to media in one and I'm going to press one on the keyboard and you can see that's going to bring up our media one and our viewer right here. Okay. So we're going to go back to the magic mask node. We're going to select that and I'm going to go just about in the middle of my clip here. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go change our mode from faster to better. So as you can see, when we hover over the image, our little eyedropper with the plus uh, pops up and this is going to tell DaVinci Resolve where our subject is. So we're just going to click down and tell DaVinci Resolve what our subject is. Now you can see it's done a pretty good job of selecting the subject. I got kind of lucky here. And you can see over on this image, this is why I like to have two, uh, two of the viewers up, because you can see on this image, it doesn't pick up on her little scarf right here. Um, so what you can do is you can actually draw on either one of these. So I'm gonna draw in, I'm gonna add that in, and then you can see it's doing all kinds of weird stuff where it's taking her arm out, but you just wanna tell DaVinci Resolve that we wanna keep that. And I like to do track forward then reverse since we're in the middle of the clip. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna let DaVinci Resolve work its magic. Okay, cool, so it's finished up and man, that actually took a lot longer than it usually does and I'm always worried that my computer's messed up, but then I just remember that I'm screen recording, so it's gonna slow down a lot. But anyways, so we've gone through and now we've got our mask and you can see this checkerboard represents a transparent background. Now, I will say, this is a good enough mask. You can see it's even picking up on the little scarf and everything. But if I was going to be doing this for a client or, you know, any sort of work where I would need it to be a lot more perfect, what I would do is I would go through basically almost frame by frame, looking at everything and making sure that everything is masked in and nothing, there's not doing any weird clipping or anything. And the cool thing about the magic mask is you can just continue to add in anything with the little eyedropper here. So if in this frame I wanted to select something, I could just go in and select it. And there you go. So just go through um, and, you know, make sure that this is a, a really good mask. So yeah, that's as simple as it gets, guys. If you have the magic mask, um, this is the absolute best way and fastest way to do this. So go ahead and play around with this and let me know what you guys do. I also like to see your guys work. So tag me on Instagram. My Instagram is in the description and show me what you make and make sure you tag me so that I can check it out and go like it and comment and everything. Okay. So with that being said, that's wrapping this tutorial up. I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you go like, comment, all that stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace.